Turning on a computer might seem simple. You press a button, and voila. Your screen lights up, icons appear, and everything's ready to go. But behind the scenes, your machine is waking up like a city at dawn. Billions of electrical signals start flowing, hardware begins to talk, and a hidden chain of events unfolds, all in just a few seconds. It's like starting a car, launching a spaceship, and assembling a pit crew all at once. In this video, we're going to lift the hood and see exactly what happens when your computer boots up, step by step, in plain English. Alright, so you press the power button. What's the very first thing that happens? The electricity flows from your computer's power supply to the motherboard. Think of the motherboard as the computer's central highway, where everything connects. But your computer still doesn't know what to do yet. So it calls on the BIOS, or UEFI, a tiny program built right into the motherboard. BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. In newer machines, it's called UEFI. Think of BIOS as the old school teacher checking if the classroom is ready before students arrive. It wakes up your keyboard, mouse, screen, and checks if the hard drive, RAM, and CPU are all connected and working. This step is called POST, the power on self-test. If something's wrong, like missing RAM, your computer might beep or refuse to start. Once everything checks out, BIOS needs to find something more powerful to take over. That's when it looks for a boot device, like your hard drive, SSD, or even a USB stick. On that device is a special tiny program called the bootloader. This bootloader is the bridge between your hardware and the operating system, Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. At this stage, the bootloader has done its job. It found your operating system and prepared everything it needs to start running. Now it steps aside and hands over control to the operating system itself. The operating system immediately gets to work, loading its core components, like the kernel, device drivers, and essential background services. These are the foundation blocks that bring your computer to life. They manage memory, launch programs, connect to your keyboard, screen, and internet, and ultimately prepare the desktop you see when everything is ready. Drivers are like interpreters. They help your operating system talk to your hardware by translating software instructions into signals your devices can understand. For example, when you move your mouse or press a key, the driver makes sure the computer understands exactly what you did and responds correctly, whether that means moving the pointer or typing a letter on the screen. Services are small background tasks, like checking for updates, syncing your files, or connecting to Wi-Fi. Once all of that is up, you're finally greeted with your login screen or desktop. From a blank slate to a fully working computer. All in under a minute. Did you know that the first computers, like the ENIAC in 1945, could take several minutes just to boot up? That's because early computers were massive, slow, and far from automated. First, operators had to manually configure the hardware, sometimes flipping dozens of physical switches or loading paper tape just to tell the machine what to do. There was no BIOS or bootloader like we have today. The concept of BIOS didn't appear until 1975, and bootloaders came a bit later as operating systems became more sophisticated. And the memory? It wasn't ready to go instantly. These early machines used magnetic drums or even vacuum tubes, which needed time to warm up and stabilize before anything could run. Compared to today's laptops, which wake up in seconds and can even remember exactly where you left off, we've come a really long way. So next time you hit that power button, you'll know the mini miracle that's happening inside your machine. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit that like button, subscribe for more tech made simple, and leave a comment, what topic should we demystify next? Until next time, keep learning, keep exploring. Bye bye.